right, so my name is Andrew Johns, um, and my controller, as you can see on the, in the center of your screen, is the lovely PS4 DualShock 4 controller. Um, this little guy connects to Max through using the HI object um, and via USB micro B cord. Um, you just plug it right in. I have a little patch here that I kind of whipped up that I adapted from a um, Xbox controller patch. You can kind of see the basics of it there. It's not super, super clear in this video, of course, but I um, figured I'd show a little anyway. So the idea before I kind of play this a little for you um, was to make a, uh, to take a couple of granular synths that I had had um, and put them in stereo and let the, um, the joysticks right here map to um, the grain uh, quality and the variation level in the grains. So the grain quality is like where in the, sam in the sample you're looking to play um, grains from and the sonic variation is how wide that area is. So if it's very low, then you're likely going to play similar or the same grains over and over and over again. So I figured it would be very natural to have the, the X and Y correspond, the X uh, to this scrub through the track that you select, and the Y increases the variation or decreases it so all the way up is increased and all the way down is decreased. Um, I've also got reverb mapped to the trigger buttons on the back here. Um, since these have more of a continuous um, like data stream, it's great for doing little kind of bits of reverb here and there. These L1 and R1 face buttons or shoulder buttons back here are for um, filter toggling, though I don't know how much you can really hear it but it is switching a gate that does switch between low and high pass filtering. Um, the buttons here, the four face buttons on the right, um, are used to control and increment the pitch and the density of each granular synth. So there's two buttons for each, one pitch and one density for the right side and one for the left. Um, they increment the pitch um, by 0.25 of a multiplier and the density by one hertz at a time, or one hertz at a time, um, between one and 20. It's enough so that you can notice what's going on um, and not enough that it's complete sonic overkill. But it is kind of uh, a bit loud in your face, so I'll play around here with it for a little bit just so you get an idea of what this kind of thing sounds like. Um, the song that I have selected in here right now is uh, Angel Voices by Virtual Self. But honestly, you can put like all kinds of tracks in here and it'll sound interesting. Um, the material you get out of it is really based on what you put in. So it's not like a, it's not like a traditional synthesizer where um, you know, you're gonna get some kind of sound that sounds something like a wave, you know, some kind of straight wave, you know, a sawtooth or a square or whatever. Like you're gonna get something different based on what you put in here. So uh, here we go.
All right, and that's that. Yeah, hope hope you're able to kind of get an idea of how it how it plays and how it works. Uh, yeah.